Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it with you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life won't believe in you. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're going to have to do it all by yourself. Hi! Another day in prep. I'm outside the gym. I just ran to... Superstore and grab just a few little things I need this week. I'm gonna try mini cucumbers because cucumbers are on my plan, and I find that like the big cucumbers go bad so fast. Well, I also live like no really far north, so that could be why because they're transported in. But yeah, trying the baby cukes this week, see if that's a bit better. I grabbed some basmati because the basmati I really like was on sale. I like the Tilda Basmati. It is gluten free. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's this fucking big bag. And yeah, so I grabbed that and I just grabbed um, some chicken and some zucchini. Because I'm kind of on a zucchini kick right now. Um, last week I did like um, <clears throat> mixed greens. And yeah, I, I, you know, I don't really like mixed greens. I like shredded lettuce, but I'm not crazy about mixed greens. So yeah, I'll show you guys my meal prep later, but I'm just headed into the gym. Um, I wanted to come on and say, I think the last time I chatted on like my last YouTube, I ended just like, just under like, it was like nine weeks, like that Saturday was nine weeks out. And then that was a Sunday I checked in. And I told you guys I was the a new low and that was 147. But guess what? Today, we it's crazy because i'm on my period like i just got my period and i had a new low of 144. I like three pounds this week because yeah this is sunday again so i don't know what the heck um probably because i'm like following plan to 100 and yeah i went to the movies last night and i didn't even have one little bite of popcorn i've always been that kind of person that i can have like a bite of something in prep sometimes and I'm good but this time I'm like nope don't even have a bite of popcorn don't even have the slightest little bit I just had my um they have like a really cool in the states you guys are probably used to all like the fun flavors but in Canada we don't get a lot of cool like diet flavors like we get like select diet flavors so they have this machine at the movie theaters that you can pick like diet anything like they had diet barks root beer diet barks cream soda and you can get like vanilla cream soda cherry cream soda you can get like any kind of diet coke like lime cherry uh, vanilla like cherry vanilla like everything oh else. my god I just had my diet cream soda vanilla cream soda and that was all I had yeah we went to go see John Wick so very proud of myself I did very good this week you can say that I adhered 100% didn't have any bites here or there of things um cause yeah it's grind time and like that competitive mode of me has like clicked on there you know you get on like Instagram and you see other people doing the shows and stuff and then you just start getting like I don't know like I guess maybe it's my athletic background like playing sports but like um growing up I was like always like the captain of the hockey team or like assistant captain like always like the leader type and I'm like pretty competitive so yeah the all of a sudden this week like my competitive switch flipped on and I'm like I want to beat everyone <laughs> but like actually so yeah um it is like grind time now I, I, I'm always like this too where I like come into a prep like this and then I come down 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 and like when I'm coming down it's like I'm getting stricter 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 like the more progress I see the more my head is like like Rosie and I talked about this on our if you haven't watched our last like podcast um there's people that are like no stones left unturned like not a single bite off plan like i like i said i'm not that kind of person because a, a prep that for me that works is a prep that i can adhere to so like a prep that has a little bit of flexibility off the start like i have i had some cheat meals like the, uh did i have cheat meals they were like cheat ish meals like sushi like that kind of stuff the first little bit i wasn't having like pizza and stuff but I was having like flexible meals, like steaks, ribeyes, like all that in the first kind of two months of my prep. And then now like I'm tapering down, tapering down, tapering down. Cause it's kind of like the closer I get, it's like the more, I want to take away more variables. So like 
you know, I'm still eating like sauces. Like I have my G Hughes sugar-free sauces and like my mustards and stuff. So it's like, I kind of want to keep a little bit of variable so I can slowly start pulling away those variables. Like slowly start increasing cardio, slowly start pulling away certain things. Um, like I'm still having protein powder. Um, I know some girls don't even do protein powder in their prep, but like I have two meals right now with protein powder in it. So like, yeah, these are just more variables for me to pull away and like have more room for me to get leaner later on. So yeah big rant but if you haven't checked out that um podcast rosie and i did yeah it's kind of talks about like off season versus in season and like can you really be in an off season if you've never been in an in season so go check it out on bikini wellness babes and yeah but i'm rambling i'm gonna get into go to the gym now i have my my believe stim free pump addict in white slushy it's what i've been on right now and i got a scoop of glutamine and creatine in here and yeah so I will catch you guys later. Maybe I'll like film some of my workout. It's it's pretty early. So if it's not busy in there, I'll film my workout. But stay tuned. Bye. Okay. So meal number one is my pre-workout meal, which is oats, peanut butter, chia seeds, MRE light, and cinnamon and sea salt. And it's my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> I'm already eating meal too. Yeah, I was really hungry. I got, I got home from the gym and I need my post-workout carbs. So the chicken... Basmati, cucumber, uh, I'm not really measuring my cucumber. I'm not going to eat all this. I'll probably give some to this guy because he loves cucumber. Hey, you love cucumber? Say yes. Say yes. <laughs> okay, so meal number three. It is almost noon, so I like to kind of time my meals out for like my first one around 536 my second one around 9 9 10 ish my third one noon my fourth meal three and my fifth meal at six so this meal is lean ground beef and basmati rice it's actually like one of my favorite meals um sometimes i usually have like beans with this but um today i'm just having rice and beef okay a little cheeky tip um so in 2021 when i was prepping and i was on like a 800 calorie diet eating mostly chicken and fish um i found that like i liked frying my fish i mean frying my chicken in the pan with like garlic onion powder paprika salt pepper and what else do i put and a little bit of no, I didn't put chilies this time. Sometimes I put chilies if, I feel, if I'm feeling spicy, but I just find that the chicken is so much like juicier and tender if you cook it like this in like a good pan versus the air fryer. Because when I'm lazy, I air fry my chicken, but then I find it really dry and rubbery. So yeah, I find I can tolerate this a little bit better. Um, and like right now, like I said, chicken is not even bothering me right now. It's just a good way to like make your food taste really good and then I'll if I'm having like chicken and rice I'll put like the G Hughes sh uh, sugar-free um, sweet chili on it and that is so good I was gonna also show you what is in my pantry for like spices that I always use I like this coarse ground um, black pepper from Costco it's amazing I put cinnamon on a lot of things like I put it in my oats sometimes or like my shakes I freaking love this truffle salt from Superstore I think it's more like 12 bucks or 13 bucks too totally worth it you can tell I use it a lot it is so good if you put it on um, rice with coconut oil oh my god it, that's like I could eat so much of that if I could um, lately we've been back on a seasoning salt kick um, garlic plus this one's good i also really like putting a montreal steak spice on my ground beef because it, i don't know it just makes it taste like a steak or like a burger and yeah those are like most of like my favorite ones i use um and i do use like onion like i have a whole so ghetto my spice bag <laughs> this is all spices that i usually use and i use a ton of garlic powder and onion powder like all the time and then sometimes I use like poultry seasoning on my ground turkey or I'll use Italian seasoning so yeah I just like buying a bunch of bulk spices it's really cheap and easier that way and I would usually buy from bulk barn but we don't have a bulk barn up here meal three um so on my plan he has like Greek yogurt peanut butter and protein powder but um 
I actually haven't been doing Greek yogurt just because sometimes I find dairy is hit or miss with me, um, even the lactose free ones. So it's almost three o'clock and I am going to do a protein shake. Today I'm just randomly throwing in this yummy sports birthday pastries. I, <laughs> this is a weird mix, but I put coffee in here, cinnamon, uh, and then I'm gonna put some ice and some peanut butter and yeah. It should be interesting. <laughs> okay, so the verdict on this smoothie, it tastes so freaking good, you guys. It reminds me of like Biscoff. You know what Biscoff is? Like that cinnamony cookie one. Anyways, don't knock it till you try it. It's really good. Also, look at my waist. I posted on my IG this week that my waist was similar like pretty much the same as it was at on peak week in 2021 so yeah it was 25 inches peak week 2021 that's what it is now at the smallest part like the smallest part like I usually measure like right here kind of about my belly button so yeah um yeah I'm eight weeks out and it's 25 inches already so I'm hoping my waist will be like 24 like maybe 23 and a half who knows I think on show day from peak week, it came down like half an inch last season too. Yeah, it was like 24 and a half show day. So it was like really tight and tiny probably because I was taking um, water tight and <laughs> uh, eating like baby meals, like barely eating nothing that week. So, um, but also, oh yeah. And my glutes are still holding in at 40 inches. So <laughs> if my waist can go to like 24 and my glutes can stay 40 inches I will be very impressed very very impressed but ideally like I have some fat on my glutes so they're probably gonna come down like an inch I don't know I'm hoping not to they were 38 um actually maybe they were like 37 and a half when I competed but I also didn't carve up for my show in 2021 well for my for nationals I didn't carve up just because um, for bikini, I was already too kind of like big. So they didn't want me looking bigger. So my coach at that time didn't card me up at all. I walked on like maybe with like a, drinking a cup of water all day and eating like a thing of fish. <laughs> that was all I did. So this year will be different. Um, for wellness, I'll probably like get to carve up. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how different it looks or if it looks like better or worse. And this is crazy that it looks like this and I'm on my period too. So Okay, so my last meal of the night, it's like 5.45 and yeah, I'm having some chicky and some cucumber and I just put um, garlic plus pepper, some salt and then some apple cider vinegar on the cucumbers. So yeah, that's kind of like a full day of eating. Like I said, I usually stop eating before six because I take my Synthroid at nine, like before I go to bed and you're not supposed to eat before you take Synthroid or any thyroid medication. So yeah, I, yeah, I, that's just been my life since my surgery. And it's actually helped me a lot because I then do not snack later on at night. So I am thankful for that. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> he knows I have cucumbers. Okay, so I wanna have a little chit chat here about kind of like the difference between like my prep last time and this time. And obviously last time, like I said, I was kind of, I was like self coaching myself. I did, I was working with a lady um, for a couple months, but I wasn't really like following her plan. I was kind of following like her macros, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, it's like, it's, I like having a coach. I definitely do. Um, like, I, like I said, I've always known my macros, so I, I follow macros really well. But I'm noticing, like, my dog just hit the, just hit the stand. I'm noticing, like, a huge difference now just, like, following a plan. And, like, this is the most strict I've ever been, like, this far out from a show. Like, like I said in the last episode that I got a little slack from that, like, uh, about my, like, genetics and whatnot. But, yeah, this is the first time that I'm, I've actually, like, stuck to a plan this far out. And I'm starting to really see the benefits of it now. So I'm really happy that this year I decided to get a coach because it is hard when you're coaching yourself. Like you don't have, like, you kind of get like prep goggles and you don't really see yourself changing. Even now when I like look at my progress pictures, I'm like, 
did I change a lot and whatnot? But I, I know I definitely have. And like now I'm really, really seeing it in my um, stomach. So yeah, that's a huge thing. And like probably because I haven't eaten any sugar really. Like I was, I was looking at my fitness pal and I think it had like two grams of sugar for like the last two weeks. So I'm like, oh shit, like I haven't really been happy because I haven't been having fruit and obviously like not eating like processed shit. So it's really paying off and I'm really glad I am sticking to the plan and I'm just gonna tr like, I was like trust it from, it's not like I didn't trust it before. It's just like, you know, sometimes, well, I wouldn't say like I'm sticking to like every meal like exact to a tea sometimes like if I have a chicken earlier I'll have a chicken later like it's just, but I'm eating the same thing that's on my plan throughout the day just might be like different combinations it might be like rice with beef or chicken with beef or xyz but yeah so I am really excited to see what happens in the next little bit um keep watching I'll put a physique update in the end of this video and <laughs> I'm not going to be the one to